Hey, this is Brooke Drum with Printerbot.com, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do an upgrade to your Plus. You've got Acme lead screws in here, and we are now selling an upgrade of this really nice four start Acme lead screws. So I think you can see them there. So uh, we sell them with the Z couplers, they're new Z couplers. Uh, the bottom has been turned down. I don't know if I can get this off. The bottom's been turned down of this rod, so it's not like you can just go buy a rod and everything's going to work. You may not have a lathe, we do. Uh, so we turn these down, we flat the end, so that one set screw there. And it's nice because you just, it's the proper length, you can push it all the way against and tighten this. I'll go back through and tighten these more later. Uh, but anyway, so you get a couple of these and it's a pretty easy swap. Now, I'm doing a swap on a bot I had back here in the museum. And it's, uh, well, it's not exactly like yours. Uh, you'll notice it's a little shorter here, um, but the, the process is the same. So uh, I'm gonna try to make it easy. I, now I've not done this myself. I had my guys do the last ones that we've done to test this. So I'm gonna attempt doing it by just taking the top off. I'm gonna go out of frame a little bit, try to pay attention to my monitor. I'm here alone on a Sunday. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get this taken apart without having to strip the sides off. That's easy to do. Ah, like I said, it's easy to do. But uh, <clears throat> it would be best if we can do it without taking the whole thing apart. Got the wrong. There it is. That's my that's my uh, clutch. So I'm taking. Well, you know what? I might be able to keep those on. I'm gonna see if I can keep these on. These are, there are four screws on the top here that hold the block in place that grabs the smooth rod and just provides a guide. Um, I'm gonna to try to leave that there. I may have to take it off, but I can take all these off the side. There's four on each side. Oh no, there's more than that. One, two, three, four, looks like six. It's funny, because this one we made in-house And I can tell the bends aren't exactly perfect. Kind of came apart a little bit. Flip it around. And one more. Okay, so now this top should come off. I might have to beat it a little bit. No, it's coming. Okay, so I got the top off. You can see the blocks. You can see the blocks there. And I realize the challenge is, uh, I'm squinting like, is it in focus? Anyway, if your parts look a little different, these are prototype parts. So that's the front. Now, um, you can kind of see down into the bot now of how it works. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take these two screws out here and here, and here and here, okay? Now the other thing I need to do is loosen, uh, loosen these down here, and I'll show you a little trick on that. In fact, I'll do that first. So I have these really nice tools, because uh, man, the right tool for the job, that's one of my mottos here. Um, so I got that really long reach for this set screw. If you push your bed all the way back, you can come in here and get level um, with that nut pretty easily if you've got a long reach. There it goes. All right, I've got them both loose there. I'll loosen these, you can't see it, but not much to see. I'm just loosening the set screws in these big beefy Z couplers. So, now, now we're loose. Okay. Now, uh, the ones on the top. Oops. I'm going to keep those separate. Well, they're black, the other ones are silver.
All right, now this thing's gonna fall. If I'm not careful. So this one was a little more loose. Came right out. It's the old. Want that screw. And this one's tighter. There it goes. So don't damage your bot by letting it fall. Get that Z coupler out. Okay, so pretty easy. Now, um, these are, I don't even know if those fit, yeah. These are kind of nice because they're small enough that they will fit through the holes in the top, unlike the other ones where you have to take them off. Gosh, make sure it's loose enough. So I can put these down. I'm paying attention where the flat is on the motor. I'm trying to pay attention where the flat is on the motor. <laughs> I'm going to just turn it where I can see it better. There we go. So that's there. I think I left that set screw a little bit too tight on the other side. Loosen this one. All right. Lining up the sets or the flat so the set screw can be in the right place. I guess it wouldn't really matter if you had the set screw in the wrong place. Uh, if you had a good pinch, you know, but it's better. You have it in the right place. A little bit awkward. It's, it's easier without the sides on, but it certainly is a lot faster with the sides on. There, I got it. Now, I don't like my Z coupler to sit right on top. I don't want any friction from it being pinched you know, against the plate. So I'll raise, I'll raise that like that's, let's see. I don't know where the focus is, but anyway, um, I don't want it sitting on it. I want to raise it just a little bit, like not even a millimeter. So make sure your Z coupler isn't resting on the bottom. Can I see this? Yes. There it goes. Raise it up a little, tighten it down. I don't over tighten this. You can strip out aluminum. Make no mistake. So these are in there. I've got my, uh, oh, this one's on upside down. Glad I did that because uh, there's a hole um, that, you see that recess there? So you want that down. So let me do that again. These are so much easier to deal with. Like I can really move them quickly where they need to go. Now it has to get out of the way of the Z bearing. Okay. There's a flat that you can move that around. So the flat is facing the bearing and it provides enough space for that to get through. I'm not putting it in too tight because it may be off just slightly and I need to rotate it a little bit to hit the other screw hole, but maybe I'll get lucky. I'll just look. Yeah, way off. So I'm going to rotate that. There it is. Uh-oh. Well, I'm going to loosen this other side. There we go. Yeah, if you leave it loose. Then you can get both <laughs> screws in. Okay. So that's one side. Those holes line up good. Where'd they go? 
I just did the simple. It's funny. There's so much packed into that simple. And it's such, it's such a tight little area that this is actually easier, the plus is. And I'm doing two bars, not or two Acme screws, not one. Seem to be missing the hole. And of course I dropped the screw. Where'd I put it? This. There we go. All right, so I've got them nice and uh, tight. I just want to feel the resistance. Now, these uh, turn together because they're on uh, different motors that are synced. So I like to get it nice and level, move them both at the same time. Now, if all goes well, this will just fit back on. There we go. Now, as I'm putting this uh, back together, <clears throat> um, I want to tell you, now that uh, we've got the mechanical done, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you change your M code for your Z axis. Now, that's something you can do in Repetier or the Pronterface <laughs> uh, interface in Cura 1. But you're going to need to change that M code because the and then save it. Um, the set go the set screw or I'm sorry, the, the Z axis the steps per millimeter for Z. Uh, if you don't change that and turn this thing on and start moving it around, it's going to move a lot faster than it did with the last screw. It's going to take less turns for you know more distance. So uh, you will screw something up if you do that. Now I always warn anytime you take your bot apart. Um, be very, very cautious with your first print. You may want to go ahead and uh, double check your sensor height, like pull up a cube and print that cube with your settings, getting ready to turn off your power supply if it starts to dive. Because you're messing around with the mechanicals in here and there's no telling uh, if something got shifted just slightly. It doesn't take much to scratch your bed. So you've got probably got Capton down and that's going to save it. Uh, more than likely, but don't take any chances. And then, uh, very unlikely with this bot, I would think, because it's, you know, you can push it down manually now, which is nice. But, uh, if those if those Delrin nuts, now we're using a new Delrin that's actually better suited for this situation. It's, it'll be brown, not black. But it's, it's a, a really good Delrin. So it probably won't loosen enough to um, wear down enough to where gravity will just will just take it and drop it. But I like to recommend I find the right clutch. Um, I like to recommend that on the ending G code that you put your G code in there to move the bed out of the way. Uh, just in case, which has your print on it. So when the print's done, in case this ever falls with gravity over time, when the print's done, it'll pierce, you know, if you leave it centered up, it'll pierce right into the top. You want to have a G-code that brings that out. Um, so a little recommendation. Yeah, I'm out of frame, but the beard's in frame, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so anyway. Well, there you go. Under 15 minutes. Uh, this is your Z Acme upgrade. Very, very nice. Um, it moves much faster. You can zip it up and down. It's easier to move. Less resistance. Um, it'll be nice. So enjoy your plus 8mm 4-start Acme screw upgrade.